Boy Pond on. Well, I won't say a sunny day, so we ain't in sunny Devon. We are in sunny Devon, but it's not sunny. But it's uh, not a bad day down here. We'll have a look at the temperatures and everything in a minute. So, congrats to the winners on last week's competition. Obviously, I didn't get a chance to do it in the video because the video was all filmed before the uh, Thursday. I uh, just uh, pasted the winners into the video and they launched it. But congrats to all you, those of you that uh, won the uh, competitions last week. Hope you've uh, all got your prizes in the post. I will have posted them out as soon as I've got your addresses. Right, that will be the end of the competitions for a little bit. I might do another one this summer, but we'll see. Anyway, on to the filter. Have I built it? Yes, I've built it. Is it running? Yes, it's running over here. So, I've built this sort of shower stroke trickle stroke bug filter. don't really know what to call it. It's been up and running for 24 hours now. I'll flip you over to the clips in a minute of it running. But before I do, if you haven't already, get in and smash the like and subscribe down here. Give us a thumbs up if you can. Thumbs down if you don't enjoy the video. But we'll whip over a minute. We'll have a quick look at what the plans was, what I was going to do with this filter. How I was hoping it was going to work. And uh, then I'll take you over and show you it uh, now it's finished. Right. Okay, right. I suspect you can see where I'm going with this now. We've actually uh, got this stacked uh, seven baskets high. I'll bring out a spray bar where the two notches are there. Across the top. And get a feed in there uh, off uh, the skimmer. I'll probably drop a bit of filter floss in the top of each uh, crate and I'll have to play around with the hole drilling. This is what it's going to work like. So there's our, there are actually seven baskets high there. I've got uh, four are in the water and three are out of the water. So the water should just permeate down through uh, the stones there when it's sprayed on the top and down the bottom. I'm going to shove a couple of air stones in amongst the baskets in the bottom. Just to help throw the air around in there. I'm still undecided what... Uh, sort of filter this is or whether to give it a new name I don't know what do you think is it worthy of a new name permeable filter I don't know so it's not a bug filter because it's uh, not in a pond or in a tank sort of thing the bottom of it is but the top of it isn't strange right let me get on I'll get this pipe connected in I'll show you where it's taking a feed from in a minute right Okay, here we are up this end. The pipe's going to come out here, which is about there somewhere. This pipe here, on a valve down there, is actually uh, pressure off the pump. I can uh, turn that one on, and I used to use that as a flyby bypass here, so I could bleed water past. So I could run the filters up to a maximum and pump uh, all that the two pumps could throw through the two filters. Um, the bay here, it uh, doesn't like flowing uh, more than about 5,000 litres. So that's hence the uh, reason I've raised the uh, limits on it by taking the caps up, you know, the tops up. But I'm going to cut through, drill a hole here, plumb into this one, and if needs be, the other thing I can do down the other end is I can uh, take a feed into the second pod, which has already been cleaned by the first pod really. I can take a gravity feed off of there into this pipe so that I could feed it by gravity as well. Which would be best, I don't know. I'm going to pressure feed it off the skimmer for now. So I'll have to clean the water in the skimmer basket and some filter floss on top of these baskets before I let it run down through. Let's get into this a minute, cut and get the pipe through on the outside. I'll get it there. We'll see what's going on then. Okay. Right, are you ready? Right, here she is. I'll put some uh, filter floss on top of it. Now I'll leave this running overnight. And 
come back to it because I might want to drill more holes but at the moment I just really need to check that all the gravel is getting wet on the way down through or at least 90% of it it should track its way down through to the bottom still need to put some air stones down there but we'll uh, come back to this tomorrow after it's been running for a, give it a full day and I'll get back on it so catch you soon as I said, not a nice day down here today. A pond temperature 19.4. Alright. Ignore the air temperature. I think that one's going skewy. Wants a new battery. No way is it 29.3. Absolutely no way. Might be in under the cover there. I've only just opened the door, but I'll have to see if it falls down. Generally a sign that the battery needs replacing. Right, let's have a look along the new filter here. Okay, so here she is from the end. All right, it's five baskets long, seven baskets high. Okay, I drilled the hose out onto it. So let's say I've got 6,000 litres apparently going through the hose that are on there at the moment. It's not spewing that quick. I could wind the pump up a bit more, but I'll leave it like this for a day or two and just see if the water quality stays the same, doesn't get worse. This will be the thing, if the water quality starts to go downhill, I know I'm going too fast. But it might take a while for this filter to pick up to speed. So I'm always going to leave a trickle into it, even if I have to jump, drop the pump speed back down. Could take a couple of months or more to build up something in this. This is 24 hours after I started it running yesterday. So the floss on top there has got 24 hours worth of dirt on it. So let's get in another closer look. Okay, right, so here's the uh, row of baskets, there's three out of the water and four below the water level, well one breaking water level there, so seven baskets high. Now most of the dirt that's actually sitting on top of the filter floss incidentally just seems to be fly larvae that are coming out the pipes. But I've had it spraying like this 24 hours. I've got some foam showing in the bottom trays there, which is uh, kind of interesting because uh, I don't normally get foam on the pond or the veg filter. But uh, the water's trickling down through all of these now, nice and slowly. And uh, as I said, I'm not really calling it a shower filter. If I can zoom in on the corner here, you might be able to see. drip in there that's the kind of flow I wanted I didn't want a huge flow from it but at the moment I'll keep the flow on it quite substantial just till it builds up enough and then I'll take the flow back down to a slower speed I've got air stones around the bottom at the moment I've got four there I've got an eight-way manifold I need uh, six really around it so one in the middle, one, um, two in the middle each side, two at the end, each end each side. Just to get the water moving around the baskets that are underneath. Now all the top baskets are full up with a smaller alpha grog I was showing you. And the baskets below the water line have all got slightly bigger stuff in. I had to put a plastic back in there, I was thinking I would, and I did straight from the off, because it seems to be splashing back against the board. Now, spray nozzles aren't actually uh, splashing that much, but it's splashing back and hitting that bit of plastic, so it was a handy thing to put on there. I could do with some more support on the spray bar, but while I'm playing with it at the moment, because I might want to add more hose, I'm not sure. But I'm going to leave it running like this for a couple of weeks and see what happens. But it's looking good. Filter wise, we'll see what it can do. Can't be bad. Now, all the holes were drilled straight, but the water seems to come out at an angle from the pumped end of the spray bar, which um, annoyed me a little bit. But uh, I'll have a go drilling out because it was a quick make thing. I marked them out, but uh, I could have drilled them a bit better. I could also increase the size of the hose on the spray bar a bit. 
before as well. But we'll leave it, leave it running like this for a couple of weeks. See what happens. Could be interesting. Fish are all looking very happy. Don't ask about the quality of the water. It's gone fully to shit in the last three days. On the Friday, came out uh, the Tuesday and uh, thought, crikey. And yeah, the bloody blanket weed's back again. Uh, damn stuff. And it's literally gone nuts in three days. Thousands of little green bits floating around in it. Really annoying. Popped around to the local aquatic place, try and pick up some resolve. They've normally got it, they didn't have any. All they had was some clover leaf, and I'm not putting that in again at the moment. Too bloody messy. So I ordered up some, some resolve. Hopefully, that'll be here today and get that in and get it sorted because it went from sort of nice, fine green coat. And I actually looked on the Monday, but the Tuesday I had a look and it was like an inch long. By the Wednesday, inch and a half to two inches long. By yesterday, the bloody stuff has just gone mental. I can't understand it all of a sudden in like three, four days. So we need to get some blooming resolve in here. But that'll be later. Right. Hope you enjoyed the little spin through on the filter here. We'll be keeping uh, an eye on this over the next week or two and I'll let you know how it gets on. The baskets are fairly stable there, they're all just stood on top of each other, just stacked up. I can or have got the option to wire them to that back plastic panel if I wanted to, but at the moment I want to be able to lift them around and they might settle a bit with the water going through them, but we'll see. Right, let's get you over on the step a minute. I'm hoping for a pond visit pretty soon. But let's get you on the step. Okay, as saying, the pond water has just gone to shit blanket weed. Can't understand it, but it's probably about right because I used the last dose of resolve I had a month and a half, maybe two months back, I suppose. I'll have to look back at the videos. So I need to go with an initial dose again. My fault, really. I should have just restocked with it so that I had a pot and could do the uh, sort of monthly uh, little dose rather than uh, it just coming back with vengeance like this. Don't understand it really. As you can see I've had a good play in the veg filter as well. I've moved the lilies back over this side. The watercress was just dying off in there so I've pulled that back out of the way. There's still bits of it in there. But uh, for some reason that's not growing so there's still something missing out of the water. But something that the bloody blanket weed really likes is obviously back. Okay, right, I'm down here in Devon this week, I'll keep you updated in the next few weeks over the filter as it matures, but uh, it's not a shower filter, not a bog filter, trickle filter, I don't know what to call it, if uh, anybody can come up with a bloody name for it, because I can't think of anything, then uh, I'll call it that, but, uh, we'll see what happens with it over the next few weeks, as I said, pond water has always been good, I'm over filtered. I didn't really need it, but it gives me room then. I can have a play around with stuff like this and see if it does make a difference. Because uh, with my water going downhill as soon as I speed the pumps up, I can speed the pumps up, run the new filter and see if it cures it. If it does, then I know that it's working well, so I can slow the pumps back down and it's doing even more on the bio. So none of my fish are particularly big. The average is about 50 centimetres, I suppose. On, a, on the average with the fish. But I've got 18 of them in there, or 17 now, actually, now I lost the orf, because uh, even the orf that's left in here um, is a big fish. But I've got a lot of fish, 50 to 60 centimeters. Um, so nose to tail, that's a good length of fish. So I need good filtering for that. Right, if you have more already, and you've enjoyed the video this week, and uh, anybody want to know a bit more on the filter, um, please chuck it down in the comments and um, ask away. Smash a like and subscribe down here. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thumbs down if you didn't. We'll be following that filter over the next few weeks. Like I said, I'm hoping for a pond visit. We'll try and squeeze all this in. 
I'm going to get up around and see James again as well. We'll see his inside of his filter house, and I'm going to give him the 10 questions when I get there as well. Kind of um, cat and I, Steve, 10 questions. I'll have uh, to dream up some good ones, and uh, I'm not going to give him the, the heads up on them, they're going to be cold questions as well. Right, we'll catch you all in next week's video. But from down here in not so sunny Devon, Abbey Ponding, I'll catch you all next week. Bye for now. Dave! Doc Hallen's been killed. Doc Hallen? What happened? It's over at his place. you got to come now. Oh, wait a minute, Steve. Tell us what happened. Well, I'm trying to tell you. Now, this thing had killed the Doc. Well, what was it? Stop with it, kid. Well, it's kind of like a... It's kind of like a mass that keeps getting bigger and bigger. It... Every one of you watching this screen, look out. Because soon, very soon, the most horrifying monster menace ever conceived will be oozing into this theater. Two teenagers see it first like a falling star from outer space. Boy, that was close. Hey, come on, I wanna see if I can find it. An old man finds it, touches it, and this is the shocking result. Oh.